Hello everybody, my name is Jason, aka Savage, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the um, the shape modes within the Pathfinder tool in Adobe Illustrator. So to locate this tool, you're going to need to go under Window, and then select Pathfinder, and I've got my dock on the side here, and it's these four tools I'm going to be showing you how to use. So first off, you're going to need to create two different shapes, and for all of these, you need two separate shapes, or paths. I'm going to create one rectangle and one ellipses. And just for demonstrational purposes, I'll make the circle a different color. Alright, so I've got two separate shapes here. And this first tool here is called Unite. So as the name and the little icon suggests, it combines both paths into one like conjoined path. So whether you have them separate like this, you can go ahead and select them both and you can either drag like that or you could click and then control click to get both now, now once I get them both selected and I click this shape mode tool the unite tool then it will conjoin them into one path and as you can see this one turned into a different color that's because I had selected the circle first which was green and that's sort of like the parent shape so it's going so the second shape is going to tailor to that color <coughs> so that's the first way you can use unite the other way is let's see if I can just select just this I got up there it is so the second way you can use it is by overlapping and then if I select both I can do the same thing and now I've got one path and so that's pretty much everything with the unite tool next I'm gonna show you the minus front so basically whichever shape is on front and and is overlapping the other shape shape that will get cut out of the bottom shape so if I were to use this tool on these two shapes, there would be a circle shaped cutout, well a quarter circle shaped cutout in this rectangle. So first I select this, then I select the rectangle, and then once I do it, there will be a cutout right here. So that's what the minus front does. As the name suggests, it subtracts the front shape. So that whole shape is going to go away. Now that's, that's probably the most used um, shape mode in Adobe Illustrator. Whenever I'm making a logo, that's pretty much what I'm using 95% of the time. And any other person that makes logos in Illustrator will say the same thing because it is the most used tool in Illustrator. Next, we've got the intersect. So the space that's intersecting with the two shapes is what will is what will stay. So if I do it here, only this little region here is going to be visible and the rest is going to disappear so I never really use that one there is times where you have to but it's oh so often the last tool is exclude which is the exact opposite of intersect so what that means is the the part that's overlapping is going to be taken away so as you can see now I have that part taken away and it's also combined the two paths into one just like um, the unite tool alright so that's pretty much it as far as shape modes go Please subscribe and leave in the comments if you would like to see how to use all these other pathfinders which do come in handy for making more advanced logos. Also I'm thinking about in the future um, doing tutorials on actually, how to, on actually how to make logos. So if you'd like to see that then just go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.